us around the Bay Area have been watching the World Cup but unites people as they root their team on. I want to introduce you to Bay Area native Rico Alvarez. He has more than 3 million followers on TikTok and he's done so by filming his family and making people laugh. He's also been doing so during the World Cup. Your score predictions for Mexico versus Argentina. Rico Alvarez films moments in his day to day life in a Latino household with his parents and brother. Don't. Don't. Yell. Yell. Act. Act me. In some videos, he's teaching his parents English phrases, moments that others can relate to. Overall, he's making people laugh and smile. <laughs> his videos get hundreds of thousands of likes. It's pretty easy just because, like, I already mess with my parents. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I usually dance when I, you know, hear some music. It's it's pretty easy. Like, I don't really have to plan out a skit. During the World Cup matches, Rico has been at the Old Wagon Saloon and Grill in San Jose supporting Mexico. I love the sport. I love supporting Mexico. You know, my parents, both my parents are from Mexico. Um, so I basically grew up watching them. Um, and, it, you know, I mean, you can probably hear it gets intense in the games. And it did on Wednesday. <gasps> Rico knew it was a long shot for Mexico to pass on to the next round, but with his jacket on and his dad wrapped in a Mexican flag, they kept the faith. Mexico scored their first goal. <laughs> then the second. <laughs> but at the end, they were one goal short of making it to the next round. But despite the loss, these moments between Rico and his dad are what matter most. It means everything. Um, you know, you can you can have friends, but there's nothing else. There's nothing like family, you know. Mm -hmm. And especially having this like relationship with my parents. It's what they cherish, and it's what has made Rico and his family popular all over social media. It's just amazing to be a part of, you know, something that's like not too common, you know, to see. Uh, Latino influencer, so it's yeah, like I'm just grateful to be a part of you know, like that small percentage. All right, and actually joining us right now is Rico Alvarez. How are you feeling? I mean, how are you still feeling a little sad for the Mexico? Yeah, yeah, I'm depressed, but I'm, I'm getting I'm getting there. Okay, awesome. Well, you know what? We've got to talk about it. Tell us a little bit about how everything started. What made you want to start making videos? I was just, you know, bored. It was, you know, peak COVID time. Mm -hmm. uh, my coworker at the time, he was like, you know what? Why don't you just start making videos, you know? Because he, he, he knew I was, like, funny, but I didn't <laughs> think I was funny. So I just started posting, and, you know, I guess a lot of people thought I was, you know, funny. But, yeah, that's, that's how it all started with my friend just simply telling me, you know, yeah. post, and, yeah, now yeah. we're... Here. <laughs> now you're here and you know so many people scroll through TikTok. they look to you know may find someone to make them laugh that's what you've been doing you dance a lot as well but you were also telling me that you get messages sometimes talking about body positivity that's important yeah. for you yeah it's mm -hmm. it's the biggest thing because you know I it's amazing when people reach out to me and telling me that I boost their confidence mm -hmm. um, and I was in their shoes at one point you know I was looking up to Gabriel Iglesias mm -hmm. um, that's you know my idol and and for people to you know, tell me that it, it just it blows my mind and it's just it's it's truly a blessing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you, you do a lot of those dancing videos. So you yeah. still do those right now? Yeah. 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 Even if it's cold, I'll, I'll still do it. You'll take off your shirt. You'll yeah. start dancing. <laughs> <laughs> and we've seen we've seen all, your parents join in on the fun a yeah. lot as well. You were telling me you got that relationship with your parents. Yeah, it's you know, it's it's. It's amazing to have such a close relationship. Like I'd be roasting them, but you know they they also roast me. So there's there's never a you know a hard you know there's there's no hard feelings. Mm -hmm. It's it's all you know fun and it, it's it's you know it's it's amazing. Yeah, you know we've seen it just how much you've, you're making people laugh. I was there. You were getting recognized. <laughs> all right, so you've got more than three million followers on TikTok. I think last I checked it was around three point six. What are your, some of your next goals? You've already accomplished so much. Probably either, I don't know, collabing with, you know, Gabriel Iglesias, mm -hmm. which is <laughs> by far like my idol. If I see him, I'll probably pass out. But um, yeah, that's probably one of my, my next goals in life. Yeah, well, we're going to have to keep up with you for sure. Mexico's out of the World Cup. Who are you rooting for now? USA, of course. USA. All right. To. That yeah. match is also coming up on Saturday. You're going to yeah, be up early? Probably yeah. up. Yeah, oh, definitely, yeah, I'll be up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Rico Alvarez, thank you so much for joining us this morning and bringing so much joy to a lot of people's phones. We appreciate it. Amanda, you're also talking about the World Cup. I am, and we will be.